So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do galaxy nails. My nails are already done and not very well, so excuse those. But um, I'm going to show you on a piece of paper today. This paper. What you're going to do is you're going to paint all of your nails black. It's just a nice regular black. Okay, and you're going to wait for that to dry completely. If, you're, if, it's a take, if it's taking a little while to dry, you can get, like cuticle oil and you can just put like one drop on it and or just like any kind of oil just put one drop on it and it should dry a little bit faster so in a second this will be dry you can wave it around a little bit what you're going to need today are tweezers and in my tweezers, you get a makeup sponge, and you just take a teeny bit off, like that. And you want to hold it, the makeup sponge, pretty close to the end. So you only want about that much that's off the tweezers. You're going to need a yellow nail polish. And I like to use the thin kind, even though we're not using the thin tips. I like to use this kind because it's a good yellow to use. And then a rosy pink. I like to use this color by OPI. It is called Pinking of You. It's a pretty color like that. And then by Kiss, again a thin one, is this navy blue or dark blue. And then I got this on undiablo.com. It's just like a shiny one to create more stars. Um, you can get any kind of this kind of polish. It's good to, this kind doesn't work as well. A good kind to use would be just like a clear polish with some glitter in it. That creates more stars. And then a top coat. And you're also going to need some white to be used for the stars. And you want a toothpick. If you don't have a toothpick, you, you want to use a dotting tool. Sorry, let me find mine. You want to use the smallest one you have. So one like this size would do. It actually has some nail polish on it right now. Got to take that off. But yes, yeah, like that. So just one moment while I take the nail polish off of this, please. Yeah, it's close enough. So, just a thin one like that. If you don't have one like that, you can use even just a little bit of a bigger one. But try, if you have the same tatting tools as me, use the yellow one. Okay? But if you don't, then you can use, I don't know, any size. One that's close to the toothpick size. So, after you have your black dried... You're going to start with some white, and you're going to put it on to a note card or a piece of paper. I like note cards better. I'm going to just put some on. And this whole black thing right here, this whole thing is going to be my little nail today, except it's pretty big, so not a little nail. I need even a little bit more because it's pretty big. Okay, so I dropped it. <laughs> okay. So now what you're going to do is with your makeup sponge and tweezers, you're going to get the white that's on the paper, put it in and dab it. But once you dab it in, you're going to get quite a bit on it. So just dab it around it too to get the excess off. Then you're going to get your black, and you're going to go like this, like that. And you're going to do that to create a shape that you're going to want for your galaxy.
So my shape looks like that. Then you're going to get your yellow. And you're going to put about a drop here and there. You can put this on, you can do this on the paper too, but sometimes I like to do drops better. I always do drops for when I do the pink. And you can use the same sponge. And you're just going to dab it around. That. Then you're going to get your pink, your rosy pink, what is that? And you're going to do a few drops here and there. Just like that. So that's all pretty much on top of the white. So, so far it looks like this. Then what you're going to do is more on the edge of that area, kind of fading it into the black. I'm going to do a dark blue. I like to use navy. That's my favorite to use. And you're going to just... Into the black. If you get a little bit on your skin, that's okay. You can clean it up after with a cotton tip swab and some nail polish remover. So, right now it looks like this. Right? Pretty cool, huh? Then, if you want, you can add a little bit more white. Sometimes I like to add some white near the blue. But very, very, very little if you do. Kind of do it in random. Very little. So mine looks like that. Okay. Then what you're going to do is get your shiny or sparkly. And you're going to just get, well, mine I need very little because mine's like more of like a shiner, not a sparkler. And I don't want a ton of shine. I want more of a sparkle. So you're going to put that all over. And then it's your choice. If your sparkles add enough stars for you, that's fine. If not, you can add some stars. Sometimes I like to add stars. And sometimes I don't. And sometimes I don't. See how many I added stars? Well, you can do that if you want, but you don't have to. So mine looks like this. See how it's more of like a shine? Not really like a sparkle. I mean, that's fine. It looks cool, but not how I'd really want it. Looks like that. So I'm going to add a few stars. And if you, if you just want a few stars... You can use a little bit of a bigger tip, so I'm going to be using ba -ba -da -ba, this one. So you're going to put some white on paper, 
And I'm just going to add a few big stars. So it looks like that. That? Then you're gonna wait a minute, because you want to smear it. And you're going to just add a nice top coat to give it a beautiful shine. And that's it. Your beautiful galaxy design is complete. And I'm going to show you something. There. Doesn't that look amazing? I hope you enjoy this tutorial on how to make galaxy.